What's up guys, Dr. Jared here, Tone and Titan, and this is gonna be a 20 minute total body workout for beginners. No equipment required on this, just a little bit of space on your floor, maybe a yoga mat if you have one, because we will be down on the ground doing some core exercises. We're gonna hit all the major muscle groups in your body with this workout. I will also demonstrate some modifications if you are a little more advanced. The most important part is that you push yourself, you try to do as much as you can, and you do that consistently. Of course, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below if you'd like more videos like this from Tone and Titan. I want to hear about that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to get things started with some quiet jacks and a squat superset. So 30 second timer. Here we go. Quiet jacks look just like this. I'm going to alternate kicking my right leg out to the side as my right arm goes up overhead and then left arm, left leg looks just like that. If you are advanced, if you need something more, we're going to hit jumping jacks just like this for the 30 seconds. Try to push yourself, try to do as much as you can. After this, we're going to move right into a squat exercise. And so feet are going to be about shoulder width apart, weight is on the heels, and we're going to drop down into a squat as low as you can go comfortably. If you need a progression to this one, if you need a little bit more, I do like jump squats for this exercise. Just explode out of the bottom of the squat, up into the top. But if the beginners, if you need something less, this is where we're at right here. And we're gonna superset this one twice. Three, two, one. Back to that quiet jack.
Nice job. 30 second active rest. And then we're gonna get down on the floor and start with some core work. We're gonna get down, we're gonna do some bicycle crunches and superset that with a reverse crunch. So upper abs with some rotation and then lower abs. It's a great little superset. So let's go ahead and get down on the ground. Hands are behind the head. I'm gonna touch right elbow to left knee and then return back down. Left elbow to right knee and then return back down. If you need something more advanced, pick up the pace and don't put your feet down. So that's what the bicycle crunch looks like right there. However, if we're right here, this is where we're gonna start. This is where we're gonna keep it. Keep your core nice and tight while you're doing the bicycle crunch. Looks just like that. And then we'll move into some reverse crunches for the lower abs. Knees bent, pulling the knees up towards the chest, keeping the core nice and tight, keep your back nice and flat.
Nice job, everyone. Get back up in that active rest, active recovery. Looks great, you guys are doing awesome. Next superset, we're gonna do some modified push-ups with some modified plates. Great exercise, chest and shoulders. We're gonna get a little bit more core work in as well. Here we go, so let's get down into the modified push-up position. Down on your knees and on your hands. Back's nice and straight. Lower down to our chest, just touches the ground. Push through the chest, squeeze the chest to get back up into the upright position. If you need something more advanced, right here, up in the full push-up position. It's just like that. We're gonna superset this with a plank. And so we'll go plank on the elbows, we give our chest and triceps a little break. So we're gonna drop right down onto the elbows, hold this plank position. The stomach's nice and tight, belly button's tucked in. Uh, pelvis is kind of rolled up underneath yourself. I don't want a big arch in your lower back like this. Keep it tucked up. If you need more, up into the full plank position on your elbows and on your toes.
Excellent job. Let's get up. Active rest period for 30 seconds. Here we go. We've got two more sets left. Two more supersets left. Four more exercises. We got this. You can do it. You guys are doing awesome. Keep it up. Try to hang with me. Again, the key with this is to try to push yourself. Try to do as much as you can. Come back regularly. Try to do more. Here we go. In three seconds, we're going to get started with some high knees. High knees right here. Right knee, left knee. We're just alternating as quickly as you can. So if your rate's a little bit slower, that's totally fine. If you need something more advanced, you're right here into some really intense alternating high knees. Maybe you do a set of the more intense version followed by a set of the slower version. Break these up, take rest periods as you need to, try to do as much as you can. That's what it's all about. Alternating side steps is our superset squat position. Right step, right step, left step, left step. Right, right, left, left. If you're looking for something more advanced, we just speed it up, a little more explosive, a little more dynamic. Right here, great. If this is where you're at, this is where we'll stay. Here we go. Only five seconds left, well, about five seconds left. Back to that knees. Excellent job, everybody. Woo. Okay, down to our last two exercises. For these last ones, we're gonna do some overhead claps. Great upper body exercise, great for the shoulders. Overhead claps, superset that with some walk down planks. One of my favorite total body exercises. Get a lot of upper body as well as core muscle activation with that one. So here we go, overhead claps. Feet are about shoulder width apart, arms out. We're just gonna clap overhead, just like this. Looks like a relatively simple exercise until you do it for 30 seconds, let alone 60 seconds like we're gonna do. Here we go. Okay, for our last 30 seconds, 
Let's spend this and do a little bit of a cool down. What I want you to do, start first, reach up over your head as tight as you can, a couple of deep breaths while you're up there, a little bit of an arch backwards. Deep breaths, nice and relaxed. And then let's fold forward. We're gonna come down, touch our toes, towards our toes as low as you can. A couple of deep breaths while you're down here. Feel it stretch the hamstrings, the lower back. Looks good. We're gonna come up into a quad stretch. So let's go right quad. Now what I'm gonna do is pull my knee kind of back behind me until I get a good stretch in my quad, good stretch in my hip flexor. Try not to lose your balance. A couple of deep breaths. Then we're gonna repeat that over here on the left side. Here we go. Again, pulling the knee back behind you. Good stretch through the quad, through the hip flexor. A couple of deep breaths. Last thing that I like to do, we're gonna go both hands open as far as you can, chest up, chest towards the ceiling. Feel it stretch, front of the chest, front of the shoulders. A couple of nice deep breaths in that position. <sighs> Looks good. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. If you're looking for more workouts similar to this one, I got some great options for you. Come back tomorrow, try one of these out right here. If you haven't subscribed to Tone and Titan yet, I'd love to see you back here more regularly. Hit the circle button right here, we'll subscribe you to my channel. Until next time, we'll see you again soon on Tone and Titan.